Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm taking a quick look at Luminar Neo. We are heading into a holiday weekend here in the U.S. And uh, there's a couple of things to talk about before we kick that off over here. And the first thing is, uh, Luminar Neo already has another update out. I mean, it was two weeks ago that we got an update to 1.1. Now they're at 1.1.1. So that's three ones. Uh, and basically they added the ability to duplicate layers. So just stuck in an extra little feature there that they didn't tell us what was coming, which is fantastic. And frankly, it's impressive and amazing that these people continue to work despite the fact that their country is at, is at war. I mean, they're just doing amazing things. I'm just, uh, I love these people. I love this company. I, of course, love this product. Uh, but mostly, I'm just happy that they're doing well. And as a photographer and someone that's editing photos, I'm very happy that we continue to get updates. Let me show you that real quick. If you've got a photo like this, you can click on layers and let's say you go in and I'm gonna just stick a um, texture on top of this. And let's say I wanna go to, let's say overlay and I'm gonna maybe go a little bit higher, maybe something about like that and I'm done. Hey, great, I stuck something on there, but maybe I wanna use it again and do something a little bit different. So I can just right click and now over here in the layers panel, I have duplicate layer. Click on that and it sticks another layer with the same exact settings as the one that I just had. In this case, I'm going to pull the opacity down and I think I'll just drop a linear gradient here and just stick that onto the sky because it was a, it was a beautiful afternoon in New Mexico. But uh, the sky was, uh, you know, admittedly a little bit boring, just plain blue. So anyway, that's the point of this update 1.1.1, which if you don't have, go to Luminar Neo menu, click check for updates, and it says I'm up to date. 1.1.1 is the current one. The second thing I'm talking about is a 4th of July sale. They've got a great deal on Luminar Neo, so if you don't have it yet, feel free to click the link down below and get a copy. That is an affiliate link. They do give me a referral commission if you use it. No extra cost to you, of course. But you can get it for $74 instead of $89 regular price, or if you're a customer of a different Skyland product already, you can get it for 59 instead of 89. Plus they're throwing 10 lots and they've got some other specials. It's just, it's cool stuff happening. Now that's the second thing I want to talk about. The third thing is photography tips for shooting fireworks. Now there's tons of websites where you can go read about this if you really want a whole lot of tips for taking the photos. Some of the basic stuff is like use a tripod, get a cable release, get there early, wear comfortable shoes. I generally shoot like eight to 10 seconds depending on how dark it is, but eight to 10 seconds at about F8. I wanna start my exposure as soon as I hear it or see it take off so that that eight or 10 seconds covers the entire life of the firework. Here's an example photo that you can see. I also recommend shooting early in the night because later on more and more of this stuff that you see here, which is smoke from all the fireworks, more and more of that gathers. So depending on where you're positioned, you might end up with some of that in front of your photos, which is not a good look. This is a photo that I uh, was on a pretty good position for, fairly high. It wasn't ideal, but you know, it is what it is. Um, a couple of editing tips here for your firework editing pleasure. I'm first gonna do a little bit in the develop tab. I definitely recommend using this tool, especially if you have a raw file, this one is. And generally, I do the same kind of stuff that I start with. Here I lifted the exposure a little bit. I'm lifting the shadows, pull down the highlights. In fact, I'm gonna pull them down a little bit more. You may want to check the white point as well, whites and blacks. I think I'm in good shape here. In this case, I wanna change the temperature. I like the blue sky and the bright, colorful fireworks in front of it. The other sky, there it is. It was a little, there's a little bit of green. This is over a golf course here in Austin. And by the way, I took this in 2009. So this is a very old photo. There we go. I'm gonna go a little bit cooler. I like to give it a little bit of tint as well, but that's a typical thing for me. Maybe a little bit of vibrance, maybe a little bit of saturation too, just to give it a little bit of umph of color. And depending on the quality of the file, this being a photo from 2009, there's a little bit of noise, even though I shot it at ISO 100, which I also recommend you doing because you're on a tripod. I'm gonna go ahead and get some luminosity noise reduction to pull down some of the graininess there. And frankly, I think it's okay if they're a little bit soft. That's personal preference, but I, I like sharpness in some photos, but in fireworks and things like that, I don't think you have to be incredibly sharp. That's a personal opinion. I'm okay with the develop raw filter. The other thing I, I might would recommend, again, depends on the look that you want, is maybe try golden hour. In this case, I'm gonna add some golden hour, 
but I don't want to add it to the whole photo. I want to come in with the brush mask and I'm just going to brush it into the fireworks themselves. So this is just a pretty simple and straightforward paint job. Shrink my masking brush and just come down and get some of that. And there you go. So if I show you the before, and the after, just a little bit of umph, which also that warmer tones, because remember, Golden Hour pulls out those warmer tones. That warmer tone is helping it stand out against that cooler background that we adjusted uh, via the temperature slider. And the last thing I would look at is super contrast. To be clear, I don't think, because there's a lot of color, generally speaking, in fireworks, there, I assume there's gonna be a lot of color, um, generally because there's a lot of color, I don't think you have to do a whole lot to the photo in terms of saturation and things like that, but I would come in with the uh, contrast, uh, all three different settings here in super contrast, and just kind of see what works. Here I went to about a 54, and then I went to a, uh, a high 20s here, and a low 30s on shadows contrast, uh, but on the shadows balance, I went negative. So remember, if you go left, that's brightening the photo, so I actually brighten the shadows a little bit by doing that, which I think brightens the whole image. There's a lot of shadow. It is a night photo, of course. On the midtones balance, I went to mid 40s, so something about like that. And then on the highlights balance, I went pretty high. I went to like 95. I don't normally go that high, but look at those colors. They're really popping, and that's something to keep in mind. Contrast pops colors. In addition to obviously adjusting the light for you, it took my fireworks from that to that, which really brought them to life. And I think it brought up some more of those warm golden tones and the reds and kind of the magentas. And I think that helps it stand out a bit more, again, against that blue background. Just wanted to share those three things. A new update to Luminar Neo to 1.1.1. By the way, that's a free update to anyone that already owns Neo. There were some bug fixes and things like that, but the key thing is it added duplicate layers. Second thing is, wanted to make you aware of the holiday sale. A link down below, again, an affiliate link. If you use that, they pay me a referral commission. No extra cost to you. And in fact, you can try my coupon code, Jim Nix Neo see if it saves you any more money. And third, I wanted to talk about photography and uh, some photo editing tips as well as some photo taking tips for fireworks. Hope it helps to all my American friends. Have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. To everybody else in the world, have a wonderful weekend as well. And I'll be back soon with more videos. You guys take care of yourselves. Adios.